Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Should I start with posture? Hi, I'm Bob Shreff, physical therapist. Brad Arnie, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. <laughs> Go ahead, Bob. Today we want to talk about the two best exercises for people that are hunchback, poor posture, kyphotic or kyphosis, or head forward posture. So what does all that mean? Yeah, here we got head forward posture. Here's the hunchback or kyphosis, which is the same thing, and in general, poor posture. So how do we correct this or prevent it? These are the two exercises, Bob. Okay. The first one is simply bring your shoulders back and squeeze your shoulder blades together. A lot of times therapists will have to do, do that with some resistance and we go like this, but you don't need to have the resistance just to help your posture. And one key thing that you can think about to make sure you're doing it right is look on the back of my shirt. Yeah, we, put, we put a couple of arrows there. When he's squeezing his shoulder blades together, you also want to visually think about taking your shoulder blades and putting them down in the opposite pockets. Down so, here. Yep, so this shoulder blade, you're trying to put into that pocket, you see the arrow, and this shoulder blade, you're trying to put in that pocket. Think about that, you can't really do it, you really can't push the shoulder blades down that well, but that's what you want to think about. That's the, you're going to strengthen the right that's, muscles. That's the direction they're going. So I'm going, woo. And what, what that does is it works the proper muscles, those lower traps and rhomboids that get that posture the way you want it. And what I like about this, Brad, is you can do this throughout the day. Right. I mean, you can do this, you can do it se seated, you can do it standing. You should do it every hour as a reminder because not only does it strengthen muscles, then it also puts you in the right position. Right. Now, I don't so. know if I'd do it in the, in the line when I'm buying groceries. I probably would hold off. Yeah, there, you have enough pe people <laughs> drawn to your... The next array. exercise, more seriously, the next exercise is chin tucks. You're going to take your chin and go in backwards towards your throat. We call it a chin tuck. So it's not down, but it's uh -huh. in and back or like up. this. Right, Straight exactly. Back. back in the vehicle. Up. Right. If you want to put a little overpressure here to stretch it a little more, that can help with headaches as well. Take your the senior eminence here. Oh yeah, that web, that yeah, that web part between the yeah. thumb and the finger. And give a little extra pressure there. Hey, I'm already feeling taller. Yeah. I feel as tall as Bob now. That's right. I don't think I am though. <laughs> so uh -huh. great, two exercises for posture. Do them, do them daily, and they'll become a habit. habit you'll, you'll get taller and teach your kids the kidsies. That's the most important yeah, thing, Bob. That's right. Yep. Get them habits. Set them start. along the right path. Absolutely. We'll help you do that too. Thanks.